Hello! Today I will introduce you to the minigame Rook and Pawns game. This game is played with the following pieces. We have five white pawns, one on b2, c2, d2, e2 and f2 and we have a black rook on h8. White starts the game. According to the value system of chess, each pawn is worth one point and that means that white has got five points on the board. According to the value system, a black rook is worth five points, so we have armies of equal strength. Uh, white will win if one pawn reaches the other side safely. Black wins if the black rook can take all the white pawns. What do I mean with reaching the other side safely? Well, let's take a look. In this position, it is white to move. The white pawn will reach the other side uh, with playing uh, c7 to c8, but then the black rook can take this pawn immediately with um, rook to g8 taking the pawn on c8. The white pawn does not reach the other side safely. Black wins. As always, when you play these kind of mini games, it's important to identify the critical positions where the pawns will win and when the rook will win. And the first thing to think about is the rule of the sixth rank. What do I mean with that? Well, if two white pawns reaches, uh, if they reach the sixth rank like this when they are standing together, they will win. It doesn't matter if the black rook is trying to attack them from behind, from the side or in front of the pawns. We'll start with looking at if the rook is trying to attack them from the back like this, then white just moves on, black has to cover the c8 square and then the b, sub, uh, b pawn moves to b7 and if the black rook takes a pawn on c7, the pawn reaches the other side safely. And if we take the initial position again, the black rook is trying to defend by going back and attacking the pawns in the front. Then the pawn can move, uh, pawns can move forward like this. And it doesn't matter if the black rook here can take the pawn on c7, the other pawn will reach the other side safely and um, white will win. Uh, there is one other guideline I want to give you before you start playing the game and it is that um, it is important for the rook to attack the pawns from the side or from the back because if you try to attack the pawns from the front like this, you know, then white can make use of the idea of building a chain of the pawns. Like here, white can defend making a chain and the black rook will try to attack the pawns but you can see that white is just defending by building a chain all the time and um, it's not so effective as if we take from the beginning again like this it's uh, white you know white plays f4 again the black rook is trying to attack from the side and now even though white can um, protect the e pawn by moving it forward uh, the black rook will take at least one pawn immediately the d2 pawn like this so it's much more efficient to attack the pawns from the side Time to make a summary of this little game. The Rook and Pawns game. Put white pawns on b2, c2, d2, e2 and f2 and a black rook on h8. White starts the game. The rook wins if it takes all the pawns. The pawns win if one pawn reaches the other side safely. Before we end, I want to give you a little bit of a puzzle to solve. Let's have this little puzzle here. So in this position it's black to play and what move should black play to win this position? As you can see the white pawns are close to reaching the sixth rank that we discussed further on. But it's very important that the black rook finds the right square. For example, in this position, black must play c2 to win this game. And after c2, white has to push a pawn and black will win as black can have this following sequence. And even though the white pawn reaches the other side, the black rook will take it.
But what about other possibilities in the initial position? If black, for example, tries to attack the other pawn, the b5 pawn, white instead pushes um, the c pawn to c7 and black tries to cover up the c8 but then the white b pawn will move forward and it's not possible for black to avoid a white pawn to reach the other side safely. So let's play this little meeting game by 